Hello, I'm joined today by Stephen Viktorsky from Samsung Canada and Azim Benedid, who is Chief Technology Officer at Canadian operator TELUS. So I understand Samsung and TELUS are working together on a project in Canada. Stephen, can you tell us a little bit about the work you're doing? Absolutely. I'm, I'm very proud to say that we're going to be building Canada's first commercial open RAN and, and re-RAN network. But I think what's particularly impressive and important about this is that it's uh, a brownfield deployment in what is widely regarded as one of the most uh, complex and high performing networks anywhere in the world. And we'll be powering that with our VRAN treated out software. Uh, this network will deploy both LTE and NOR, so it will be a multi RAT deployment. And in terms of the sites, it's a very complex deployment. There are over 40 cells per site, so you can just get a, a gauge of just how, how difficult this deployment is going to be. We'll be supplying TELUS with our open RAN ORUs and MMUs. You know, and at Samsung, our architecture follows uh, the fundamental principles of open RAN in that it's a cloud native uh, deployment, it's uh, open interfaces, it's multi vendor. And in terms of the baseband, we're using exclusively commercial off the shelf hardware. You know, when we finish deploying our VRAN 3.0 software at TELUS, we'll enhance the performance of the network, we will uh, increase the flexibility of the network, and we'll also provide enhanced energy savings features for TELUS, as well as with the deployment of our SMO, or our service management and orchestration platform, we'll build upon the automation capabilities that TELUS have today to provide full automation throughout their network. And this scene, perhaps you could give us your perspective on the work you're doing with Samsung. Sure. We're proud to build Canada's first open RAN network together with Samsung. We believe that this partnership will take TELUS 5G network the most awarded network in Canada to new heights, and that it will pave the way for a new wave of innovation in mobile technology. So, Nassim, staying with you, if I may, why are you doing this deployment now, and why is it important to bring Open RAN and VRAN to Canada? Now is a pivotal time in the Canadian telecommunications industry. The convergence of technology advancements, evolving customer expectations, and a highly, highly competitive environment calls for a shift in network architecture. By being the first company in Canada to embrace open and virtual RAN, we're doing three things. We're addressing the immediate needs of our network, we're addressing our customers' expectation, and we're addressing the economics of our business while laying the foundation for a more agile and innovative landscape in Canada. The real power of this technology is that allows organizations to break free from traditional proprietary systems. Now we can easily swap out different hardware and software components from multiple vendors. This vendor diversity will encourage healthy competition and drive innovation. In practical terms, what this means is that we can now choose our RAN equipment and its components based on merit and what works best for us, rather than being tied to a specific supplier or a specific ecosystem. This will ultimately improve customer experience across Canada with enhanced capabilities, speed, and reliability. Now, Stephen, if I can bring in you here, I mean, why is it important? Why are these technologies so important for the Canadian market? Well, this is really the next phase in the evolution of the RAN. You know, what we want to provide with TELUS is the modularity and optionality and flexibility to some of the key things that Nazim has spoken about there. But in terms of also the cloudification of the network, we want to expand that right out to the very edge of the network and incorporate the RAN, which will give TELUS the flexibility in how they operate and manage their network on a go forward basis. And it'll also decrease the time to market it takes for us to bring the latest RAN technologies into the network because there's no underlying dependency on hardware anymore. You know, with this deployment of our VRAN Shido software, really TELUS is, is joining an elite group of forward thinking, technologically advanced operators such as Verizon in the United States, Vodafone in the UK, and KDDI in Japan, who are all on a path of deploying virtual RAN. And importantly, they're deploying that virtual RAN with Samsung. And I believe that um, TELUS and Samsung had an initial partnership in 2020. I mean, Stephen, how does this collaboration build on that? Well, we'll be deploying our versatile VRAN 3.0 software, which is ORAN compliant, and that's going to give those energy efficient uh, features that I talked about, which will be very important in the coming years. It'll also build upon what is a very, very high performing network by increasing that performance. 
We'll also supply TELUS with our field tested ORAN capable radios, including our 64T, 64R wideband massive MIMO radio. And we'll supply TELUS with our AI powered SMO, our service management and orchestration platform, which will enable TELUS to have zero touch provisioning. And that'll give TELUS the ability to seamlessly automate the deployment of thousands of sites um, simultaneously, which is very important in an open uh, virtual multi-vendor uh, multi network. Um, you know, this open and virtual approach to network deployment really speaks to the innovation that is at the very core of who Samsung and TELUS are. And we both are driven and, and have a great desire to see the advancement of wireless technology. So what we've put together is a team of, op of, of partners who are of the same goals and, and same desires, and that is to build in Canada a dynamic state-of-the-art network um, for TELUS. And over to you, Nazim. Why did TELUS choose Samsung for this expanded work? Well, for many reasons. So the first one you've mentioned, we've had a strong partnership with Samsung since 2020 when we selected them for our 5G rollout. And we've come to learn that we share the same vision when it comes to culture of innovation and excellence in customer first. Second, Samsung is a global leader in open RAN and virtual RAN technologies and have successfully deployed them at large scale in other countries, and Stephen mentioned uh, those deployments. Third, Samsung has the ability to support VRAN for both 4G and 5G networks. This capability is essential for, for us as it allows us to do the full virtualization of our RAN at scale. And last, and maybe more importantly, Samsung fully supports Open RAN, including the interop of their components with other radio suppliers. This aligns with our vision of building a flexible, software-defined network where we can select and integrate components from various suppliers. And this is critical to us, given the relative size of the Canadian market and the fragmentation of the spectrum landscape. landscape sorry. We believe that Samsung's expertise and leadership in these technologies will be instrumental in helping us realize the full potential of this approach. Stephen, perhaps you can add how Samsung is developing an ecosystem surrounding Open RAN and VRAN. Yeah, absolutely. So at Samsung, we've been working very hard at creating a robust ecosystem of partners. And we've been working very closely with those partners and introducing them into our labs. So we can do a lot of the pre-integration and, and testing, uh, a lot of the heavy lifting before we enter uh, the operator's lab so that we get them to focus on the testing and the integration that's important for them for their particular network. And that helps us to reduce the time to market for deploying this RAN software, such as what we've done with, uh, with TELUS. You know, at, at Samsung, we believe that optionality is the key uh, feature and benefit to, to open RAN. And it's very important to be able to mix and match the best of the best vendors. Uh, and that's what we've done here at TELUS. We've, we've mixed and matched the best vendors to produce the best possible solution for TELUS and for their network. And we're very, very happy to have uh, had the opportunity to work with TELUS on this project. And I'm sure what's going to be very interesting to the viewers of this is what are the results looking like so far? And what will this build out mean for TELUS's business customers as well as consumers? Our customers expect our services to evolve as technology evolve. They want more capabilities, they want better economics, better performance, faster speeds, and stronger reliability. And it's our responsibility to keep them connected to what matters most, whether at home, at work or on the go, and we take this responsibility very seriously. In accordance with our customers' first ethos, we conducted extensive lab and field tests in select Canadian markets. The results show that Open RAN yields today excellent performance. In fact, it's on par or better than traditional RAN, including top speed, customer experience, and reliability, and it's only the starting point. We fully expect, as the technology matures, further improvements in customer experience in the month and year to come. And we're so confident with the technology and with the positive results that we've started commercial deployment and we plan a large-scale network rollout um, in the middle of 2024. Well, thank you very much to you both for sharing this development in Open RAN and VRAN. It sounds a very exciting project and Open RAN and VRAN from what you're saying, can live up to its promise. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.